What's going on, y'all? Uh, it's your boy, Malcolm Miller. And talking to people all the time, they always, uh, they found out I went to college. They found out, you know, I'm college ed educated and they say, what school you went to? I tell them I went to Mississippi Valley State University. That's where I attained my bachelor's degree in mass communication. And they always ask me, how did you end up in Mississippi? How did you end up at a, uh, a HBCU, a smaller HBCU like Mississippi, Mississippi Valley State University? And I break down the story to them. So it go like this. In October of 2010, I was at Morgan Park High School. Shout out Morgan Park High School. MP, uh, great, great school, period. One of the best schools academically, academically on the south side of Chicago that's not a, a college prep school. I went to MP. I was did well all my years academically. Academically, uh, the school took us to a HBCU fair. It was located at I believe the UIC. Uh, so we went. All the top HBCUs is there: Jackson State, Howard, Hampton, uh, Grambling. You had uh, what Clark Atlanta. Alcorn, all, all the predominant prestigious black schools that you hear about, right? So I'm going to every table. I'm going to the big schools that I, I'm, I'm seeing on TV. I see the people with the sweaters on on Martin and the Cosby Show, all these big name schools. I'm going to each table to try to figure out which which black college will accept me and which one is the one for me. So they was doing on-site admission with your ACT score and your transcript. At the time, I had a 23 on my ACT and an uh, unweighted GPA of about a 3.7. With the weighted GPA, because MP, MP Morgan Park had honors classes and advanced placement classes. With those classes, I had a 4.5 GPA in high school. So um, I'm going to the Howard, Jackson State table, everything like that. It gets time for us to go. Uh, the guidance counselor, Ms. Dyer, is like, okay, guys, it's time for y'all to go. We got to go. Our bus is outside. I'm satisfied. I talked to all the schools. They didn't give me some feedback. I'm cool. I want to wait to hear. I've been accepted on site at all the schools. So I'm just waiting to hear back what type of award package I will get scholarship wise. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll hear back from them later. As I'm getting ready to go, a representative at the table for Mississippi Valley State University, two of them, they say, hey, 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 have you been over here yet? I said, no. He said, man, what's your ACT score? I said, 23. He said, man, hurry up, hurry up, fill this out, fill this out. I'm looking like I ain't really feeling it. I'm like, man, bro, I'm not trying to get left. I'm downtown. My school way on the south side in the hundreds. I'm not trying to get left, man. I need to get back to the school. So he like, man, just hurry up, hurry up, man. It ain't going to take long. Just fill it out. I'm like, man, all right, man, Mississippi Valley State. I never even heard of this school. And I'm a big sports fanatic. I didn't even know what Jerry Rice went to school at. I fill it out. He say, man, you fill out this application. Cool. Just come back later, and then you'll see what you got for the war scholarship package. I come back later on that night with my mama. We sitting there. I'm listening to all the schools. They saying what I've been awarded. I'm getting money from different schools. Getting a little money here and there. So it's cool. It's a, it's a great thing, beautiful thing, because I'm excited about college, and I'm excited to hear that. I've worked hard enough to earn scholarships. They come around to Mississippi Valley State University. So they say they start off with the full ride, four-year scholarships. And he says, Malcolm Miller. And I was sitting there like, whoa, wait a second. Wait a second, bro. I got a full ride to college right now? Is that what you're telling me? My mama look at me. She's screaming. She's yelling, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my mama say, man, that's... That's where you going. I was like, okay. Sure, I got a full ride. I don't have to pay for school. What am I complaining about? On to Mississippi I go. My pops, all my pops, my paternal side of the family, they went to Alcorn. So they're like, yeah, I heard of Valley State, man. I wish you can go to Alcorn, but hey, cool. I'm excited because I've watched all these movies that depicted college. Drumline. Uh, stump the yard, and I'm like, man, I watched a different world. I'm like, listen, I'm ready to go to get this black college experience. I'm ready to see what it's about. I'll go to school down in Itabina, Mississippi. That's where Mississippi Valley State is. Basically, people say it's in the middle of nowhere. I knew nothing about the school at all. I get there, I'm homesick for like the first like month and a half. I don't know nobody. I'm new to the school. It, it I'm not from the area, so everything is just different for me. I meet 
friends along the way. And I'm telling y'all, I developed a love for this institution like no other. I love that, that school like it's my second home. I'm, a, I'm Chicago's child, but I'm Mississippi's grandchild. When I came to that school, them people accepted me with open arms like I was a native son from the beginning, right? I mean, showed so much love. I had a ball down there. But I, at, like, when I saw a homecoming at Mississippi Valley State University, understand an HBCU homecoming, bro. You're going to see a sea full of different colors. You're going to see the, the cues. You know what I'm saying? I'm a new. I seen the noobs out there. I seen a new pro a new probate. I said that's what that's what I want to do. That's for me. I gotta get down with those guys. You're gonna see the Sigmas, the Deltas, the Zetas, like all different type of people, like just different people from different backgrounds and from all different type of places. I wasn't the only person from out of state. We had people from California, we had people from uh New York, we had people from um Shoot, we even had <laughs> we had people from out of overseas, like people from uh, England. My homie uh, Ben was from Israel. It, it was crazy, man. And I, I cherish that experience because it taught me so much about myself and taught me how to be a man. And it taught me how to adapt to whatever situation that you're in, man. And, and I, I really learned so much about myself at the school. And I speak highly of the school because in that mass communication department, Miss Young, Miss um, Gosa, uh, Doctor Sunday, Mister Cannon these these people pushed for me. They wanted me to succeed. I wasn't just a number at this school. I, I was more than that. Like it was a home away from home for me. They cared about me, cared about my well being, and cared uh, cared about my future. They know they they invested in me. Like they knew what I wanted to do. Miss Young, they gave me, and uh, Mr. Cannon and all these people, Miss Miss Gosa gave me the opportunity to fulfill my dreams. Miss Young gave me, uh, set me up with my own radio show entitled Sports Hustle that was started by Mr. Link Edget, and I continued it. Was the lead host on there with my boy Melvin Booker. I, I did the TV show, uh, the coaches show, alongside my boy Kevin Woods from San Diego, California. Miss Gosa, we was in a TV studio, and and <clears throat> I lived over there, y'all, like. To have my own radio show, I wouldn't. I didn't. I wouldn't have had that in no other big school. My own radio show. I sidelined it. Sideline reporting for the football team. I color commentated. I was a color commentator as a as a 20, 19 year old student alongside a, a professional like Mr. Lee Hall, who graciously let me come alongside of him. Man, he didn't have to do that. Any other school, I wouldn't have been able to get that experience, man. Like, what I'm telling y'all is that Mississippi Valley State prepared me for my future profession, which is why I'm so confident when I step in front of these cameras and microphones. I'm not intimidated because I got all those jitters out the way a long time ago doing the things that I did at Mississippi Valley State. I was a sports writer for the Delta Devil Gazette. Uh, Dr. Turk, Ms. Bowden, they put me in position. I had my own, I had a sports article published of mine on ESPN.com. Thanks to Ms. Bowden, she pushed it for me. And... They got me my sports article that I wrote on Julian Stafford, an amazing wide receiver during the time that I was there. They got it published on ESPN. Listen, the, the band was dope. Chicken Wednesday. Like, all of these cultural experiences, these black experiences, like, I was all for it, bro. There ain't nothing like waking up on a Saturday morning on homecoming or when we played Jackson State at all corn and looking out and seeing them big buses and RVs pull in, the tailgate about, about to pop. My family came down there all the time, and I was crowned Mr. Mississippi Valley State University in my in my senior year, man. They capped off everything for me, man. Like, representing that school and telling them about my journey and how much Mississippi Valley State cares about you as a student and how much you can grow and develop there, priceless, man. I do, I'll do it every single day of the week if I had to, if I had to man. I love NVSU.